So as we're getting ready to head into December, one of the most asked questions is, well, November was a fantastic month for new projects launching, you know, multiples on multiples on returns with many metaverse, blockchain gaming, crypto gaming niches just going in and just exploding and people turning a few hundred dollars into tens of thousands of dollars simply from participating in ICOs and IDOs and IGOs. Now, many of you want to be able to participate and, and, re, and receive and see those types of returns yourselves, but there's just so many projects out there coming in December. It's important to know the top five that are out there and five you should consider. Some have already happened, but there's still opportunity in them. Some you're gonna get very early opportunities for to be able to, to participate and receive the multiples potential on your investment. So all I ask is if you find value in the video, smash and destroy the like button like you guys normally do. If you yet to subscribe, hit the subscribe button, turn on all notifications, so you're notified when I drop a video. As oftentimes, especially with whitelist IDOs, things are very time sensitive. If you get there two minutes late, you're two minutes late, that's it. So hit the subscribe button, turn on all notifications, and if you want early and exclusive access to new crypto mining opportunities, crypto projects, all that and more, you'll find a link down below in the description for the private Discord. I hope to see you in there. Without further ado, let's jump in the video. Bluezilla as an incubator has become known to be the platform for the highest returns potential on any project. The projects, in fact, simply speak for themselves. And when you see some of these launch pads, BSC pad, ETH pad, KCC pad, uh, you know, Vela pad, Game Zone, NFT launch, all of these, there is another one coming to Bluezilla. And in my opinion, it could potentially surpass all of the returns that Bluezilla has incubated in the past. If you want to see proof for yourself, Valhalla 630X, AstroSwap 527X, KCC Pad 410X, Pulse Pad 380X. You can go down the list. You can see the multiples back on your investment potential. And with all the hype that is currently happening with the likes of Meta V Pad, it in many ways, I believe, has the potential. We've seen proof of 630X, 527X, 410X. I truly do believe that it will be somewhere in this top tier based on all time highs or return potential based off of initial IDO ICO prices. So, if you are interested in a project like Meta VPad, realize it is launching on most of, if not all, of Bluezilla's prior launches. So you can get it on BSC Pad, you can get it on ETH Pad, you can get it on Adapad, uh, you can get it on Pulse Pad, Game Zone, NFT Launch. All of these have, from my, from what I looked at, majority of these do have the opportunity for you to be able to get Meta VPad. The problem is that a lot of these require you to stake a very high amount when it comes to able to get, you know, you can get in the lottery system, you may not always win the lottery system, but to get a guaranteed allocation, you're looking at somewhere between five and $15,000 worth in stake tokens in order to get just the most basic terms of allocation. So, albeit this is a project with a 500X potential, Realize it is one that, yay, yes, you have to spend money to make money. And that is one of the reasons I love the opportunity with Meta VPAD, but it is going to be quite expensive, comparatively speaking. Now, moving on to number two, Monkey Ball. I've talked about Monkey Ball several times, and the IDO happened today, November 30th. So, registration happened, IDO whitelist closed recently um, in 20 hours or so. Where within the next day, we should know who was able to uh, be able to part got involved. Currently, what we can see, um, you can see some of the details on the Monkey Ball IDO. You're looking at the IDO price being four cents, and there is going to be a lockup period. But you can see the hard cap is quite small. This is what offers the multiples of returns potential on projects like these, as most projects. As with the popularity of Monkey Ball, will probably reach uh, an easy quarter million to half a uh, quarter billion to half a billion, so 250 million, 500 million dollar market cap quite easily, and that is what's going to offer 
the return potential with projects like these. This they posted earlier today, a few hours ago, close to 40,000 monkeys successfully KYC'd for the IDO on Star Launch. For those lucky KYC monkeys in less than 20 hours, so December uh, 1st, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, you'll be able to claim your hydrazine from your Fusion boxes. Stay tuned for a step-by-step -step full guide. So for example, what that's talking about is if you participated in the uh, KYC and went on a star launch, you're going to have your stars that you stake, you're going to have your hydrazine that you earn, and then you'll eventually be able to allocate that into some of the monkey ball tokens super super exciting i think even if you didn't get to participate in the ideal process itself and get to get some of the early uh you know ability to get some of these tokens very cheaply i think once it does become public it is going to also be an opportunity to be able to get involved because also none of the nfts have been available because you can see here stay tuned for the coming days for announcements on where you can buy mbs post ido there is currently no place to buy MBS or monkey NFTs. So if you see you know, people saying, hey, buy your monkey NFT here or anything like that, it is a complete scam. They have not announced anything as of yet as to where those locations are gonna be for you to be able to buy them and the opportunity to be able to buy MBS tokens, which realize most of the time they come available on DEXs, which still gives you an opportunity before a mass adoption happens when they go to a centralized exchange. So there still is gonna be opportunity, albeit the token price is gonna be much, much higher in my opinion than for cents specifically. Now, I talked about soul chicks a lot, specifically for me, myself, uh, I was not able to get into the IDO which you know, you're not gonna able to get every single you know, uh, home run that you hit the ball, but it is what it is, but I'm still going to participate as they get launched on indexes, primarily, most likely on Radium. This is what you need to be following. This happens December 6th, so about a week away. A week away, we'll be releasing a claiming dashboard on token generation event, which is December 6th, where you can claim vested tokens as the sale will be conducted on record number of launch pads they had over 30 participating launch pads it was an insane amount of opportunities uh available through the different launch pads note that uh, they have to talk about the locking there but they are expecting to list on a decentralized exchange expected to be radium most people are going to be familiar with radium if you're not highly recommend that you check it out because if you want to get into soul chicks and you want to buy the chicks token that is going to be probably the place that's going to get listed first and it's not, you know, although Radium is very, very popular, Dex, it's not the biggest and it's not a centralized exchange where most of the volume will come in. So expect that, yes, there's going to be a lot of people trying to buy the token from all the hype that currently exists in the project, but there is still going to be opportunity after Radium as more exchanges attempt to, uh, they attempt to list on multiple exchanges because this is going to be kind of the first big game on the Solana blockchain, so bringing a lot of notoriety and popularity with it. So they expect the listing on a DEX in the week beginning the 6th of December and listing on centralized exchanges shortly after. So once they get listed on centralized exchanges, there is going to be a ton of volume pouring into the project and pouring into the chicks token. And that is when I expect it to ideally moon. And so if you can get in at the decks before it goes to centralize, that's going to be the place to do it. Now, um, <laughs> these were all the launch pads. It was insane. All the launch pads that were participating for soul chicks, just from the insane uh, amount of people, you know, wanting to get into this project. The problem was that, well, you know, so many, you, you only have so much funds you can work with. And so many of them required to have like, you know, an, an insane amount of the uh, in, in token, the utility token for the project staked in order to participate. So you can see that to be able to be guaranteed a, you know, amount of allocation, this is just for Trustpad, you had to have 15,000 TPAD tokens to be guaranteed an allocation in the Soul Chicks um, IDO, and that is an equivalent of just over $15,000 staked of TPAD for a total of five days. Other than that, if you had anything less than $15,000, you're just up for a lottery potential, which could be or could not be something that you win at. So, 
that is going to be one of the things that you're going to see consistently with a lot of these projects that they're fantastic opportunities 100x uh soul chicks is going to be one of those projects that has multiples of returns but it is this case that you have to spend money to make money that being said i will be doing a video on some of the top launch pads that you should consider on a budget that don't require possibly as much to stake based on the token price and some that don't even require anything at all um, and then some sadly are not available for us residents uh, and some of the games i want to get involved in as ido's are not available for us residents uh, especially polka starter lost last uh, lists a lot of non-us citizen available ido's which frustrates me one project that i haven't talked about specifically on here i don't believe i don't think i've talked about it on youtube but i've talked about it in the discord i mentioned this very early for those who want to participate in the ido i currently have a soul razor i participate in their launch pad i have my uh tokens stake so i can participate in some of their launches racefly was one that i absolutely love it is a racing game built on the solana blockchain i'm a big fan of solana blockchain and the ido recently uh closed I was lucky enough to have one $150 USDC allocation. So I'm now going to have to go through the process to confirm my participation and all that. But there is just so much opportunity coming to race by the IDO price is a little bit. I mean, you can see that the overall price has increased dramatically since its seed round at five cents. It's more. It's what two and a half X uh, since then. And I really do believe this is going to be a project that absolutely blows up one of the things it's had over uh private round funding with a striking amount of 2.8 million dollars in funding this really does speak volumes to the potential of this project but this is really only the beginning for race five so realize if you didn't participate in the ido there is still going to be a lot of opportunity coming out of this as we look into the fact that there will be cars, garages, gas stations, and racetrack land. There are things that you can buy in order to also have a passive income on top of this play to earn NFT game. I'm super excited, especially with it being built on Solana. This only just increases the value for me, knowing literally no next to no fees and the possibilities of a project like this. Realize that right now, RaceFi is just the token public sale that's happened. And then we're going to see the game launch staking uh, RaceFi happening Q1, Q2 of next year. So this still is an opportunity. If you participated in the IDO when I talked about it, especially in the Discord, congratulations. Hopefully you were able to win in the lottery process. Super, super fantastic. Now, moving on to the last one. This is one that is not happened yet. This is happening December 6th. And this is now reloading. But, um, you know, out of all these projects, this one, in my opinion, is the earliest opportunity. If you're looking at it, get in really, really early on projects before really there's a lot of hype around them. Seems like that doesn't want to work. But uh, one crypto uh, or crypto Twitter account, I would highly recommend that you would follow as well to be able to get in on a lot of these IDOs, ICOs happening is Crypto Differ. I follow uh, that account very very intuitive very knowledgeable but recently um atlantis made mention so atlantis universe made mention that they are going to be launching uh, as far as ideos on engine starter and bsc pad and game zone so these are going to be three different opportunities for you to be able to participate in the ideos december 8th for bsc pad and and game zone and then december 7th for engine starter <laughs> i think uh, he misspelled that a little bit but the atlantis metaverse ido has a whitelist and a giveaway opportunity so you do need to participate in the whitelist this is on a website called whitelist alert highly recommend that website if you want to get up to date on some of the upcoming whitelist i will provide a link to this down below as well but this just showcases you the whitelist for the community pool on game zone um and then it also gives you the fifty thousand tau which is an end game token giveaway as well that will be happening so both of those links this is the whitelist for the atlantis community pool on game zone i'll provide a link to this down below as well certain things you have to do and there will be a total of 1500 members who win so then you can then join the ido and one of the things i do love about atlantis metaverse is 
the not only the project itself but the amount of followers it already has with the project it's not even launched gameplay yet and in fact it's planning on launching the gameplay a few weeks after the ido so realize this is probably going to be end of december early january kind of time frame but this is super super exciting you've got a massive following for this type of project like i mentioned this is going to be the whitelist page for the community pool on game zone they, they also have the on december 8th bsc pad game zone and as well if you want to participate this is literally just free money at this point but atlantis metaverse 50,000 tau giveaway campaign is live so you can join that campaign a total of 2050 members top performers and you can kind of see the giveaway rewards happen uh until the january 8th of 2022 so you've got a bit of time with this one the winner announcement and then distribution date so I hope this video is helpful. I'm just kind of looking back at them. Meta VPad is one that hasn't launched yet. It is coming soon. Definitely keep an eye on that. I would highly recommend that you follow their social media accounts. We know Monkey Ball just recently closed. Some details are gonna be released within the next day or so. There is still going to be a lot of opportunity to be able to get into Monkey Ball, especially as they are expected to list on Radium first and then follow up with centralized exchanges. Soul Chicks still wasn't an opportunity I got involved in, sadly, but there is still opportunity with Solchex NFTs and with the gameplay as well. If you're the type to want to play to earn those games and earn NFTs within the game, and I think there's still going to be opportunity as it gets listed, more than likely on DEXs first and then centralized exchanges after. Then looking at the opportunity in RaceFi, I am personally going to be participating in the IDO. I'm super, super excited. I think being the first racing game on Solana really does speak volumes to the potential of the project. Project. And then last but not least, Atlantis Metaverse. This is really a project. It's up and coming. And in my opinion, will have a lot of opportunities. It's already got a big following. We see the opportunities that you have. You still have about over a month left to participate in the giveaway. And then you have about a day and a half or so um, when it comes to whitelisting for game zone. So like I said, the, oftentimes videos are time sensitive. So if you found value in the video, smash and destroy the like button. For the YouTube algorithm yet to subscribe, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications so you are notified when I drop a video. And if you have a project that has an upcoming IDO and I didn't talk about it, comment about it down below. Obviously I can't cover every single IDO that comes out there, but if there's one specifically that you are interested in that maybe you want me to cover, definitely leave that down below. And until next time, guys, stay invested.